Today we're at Dream Machines of Texas to install a Super Brace Fork Stabilizer on this 2008 Kawasaki Vulcan 900 Custom. Now, we're not only going to improve the looks of the front end of the bike, we're going to improve the handling as well. You know how when you're going down the road and you hit a tar snake, or maybe you're making low speed turns, the stiffer we can make the front end of the bike, the better it's going to handle. And that's what we're going to do today. The only tools you'll need for this job today are a 5mm hex socket, a 6mm hex, a ratchet, and a torque wrench. Before we get started, make sure you have the correct super brace for your make, year, and model of motorcycle. It's important that the bike be upright and that the front wheel be facing forward. Now if you don't have a center stand, you can use a small piece of wood underneath the kickstand. Locate the axle pinch bolt at the bottom of the right fork leg and loosen it using a 6mm Allen wrench, but do not remove it. Using a 5mm Allen wrench or socket, loosen the four bolts that hold the super brace together and separate the two halves. Notice that the front half has the name super brace on it. The super brace fits very close to the front fender, so to protect the paint, it's a good idea to use a piece of paper underneath before you position the front half of the super brace as shown here. With the front half of the super brace already in position, you can now line up the back half with the front half and go ahead and install the four 5mm bolts to hold the two halves together. Now we just want to tighten these enough to hold the super brace in position because we want to make sure that the two halves of the super brace are the correct distance from the top of the fork leg. You should be able to see about 1 16th to 1 8th of an inch of the fork leg above the top of the super brace. Use a torque wrench to tighten all four bolts to 10 foot pounds. Don't forget to re-torque your front axle pinch bolt to the factory spec. Now, bounce the front of the bike a few times just to make sure no cables or hoses are in the way. 